Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another interesting video. Do you know that the Tejas aircraft is getting a more advanced guided bomb system? Yes, exactly. It was recently established for testing a new system made in the United States, the JDAM kit. The Joint Direct Attack Munition is a guidance tail kit that converts unguided free fall bombs into precision smart weapons that may be deployed in bad weather. By incorporating an inertial navigational system and a global positioning system guidance control unit into a redesigned tailpiece, it improves the accuracy of unguided, general-purpose bombs in any weather condition. The Joint Direct Attack Munition is a joint initiative of the United States Air Force and the United States Navy. Since the year 1999. During the tests, almost 450 JDAMs were dropped, resulting in an astounding 95% system dependability and a 9.6 meter accuracy rate. JDAM has been proven in operationally comparable testing, such as drops through clouds, rain, and snow. During these tests, a B-2 dropped 80 JDAMs on several targets in a single run. So, how similar are the JDAM, SPICE, and HAMMER to one another? None of the three systems are bombs in the technical sense. It's a series of kits that can be fitted on unguided bombs currently on the market. Existing dumb bombs, or even laser-guided bombs have guidance devices, fins, wings, and other components grafted on to turn them into guided, glide bombs that fly to their targets. Let's have a look at the various weaponry and their capabilities. SPICE's most important feature is that it is created by Raffle Advanced Defense System. It carries a MK-83 warhead that weighs 453 kilograms and a MK-84 warhead that weighs 907 kilograms CCD, or infrared homing with GPS, can be used to direct it. The F-15, F-16, Mirage 2000, and Tejas are all capable of carrying it. The SPICE package has a range of 60 km for bombs weighing 907 kg and 100 km for explosives weighing 454 kg. A new SPICE variation, the SPICE 250, has also been created, which is a 113 kg weapon capable of hitting targets up to 100 km distant. The hammer is made in France by Safran Electronics and Defense A Guidance Kit, and a range extension package make up the Ozim Hammer missile. The Smart Bomb Unit SBU-38, 64, and 54 are equipped with MK-82 warheads. The simple-to-use missile can carry 125 kg, 250 kg, 500 kg, and 1000 kg bomb bodies, and may be reprogrammed in the air. The SBU-38 hammer comes standard with hybrid INS GPS guidance, while the SBU-54 comes standard with INS GPS IR infrared navigation. SBU-64 employs INS GPS laser navigation in its most recent iteration. The missile's propulsion system, which comprises of a solid rocket motor and four winglets for flight control, is located at the back of the missile. The Joint Direct Attack Munition is Integrated Inertial Guidance System. It is paired with a Global Positioning System Receiver Guides JDAM equipped bombs, giving them a range of up to 15 nautical miles or 28 kilometers. Bombs with the range and weight from 230 kilograms to 910 kilograms. It is designed to improve on laser guided bombs and infrared imaging technologies, which can be hampered by poor terrain and weather circumstances. Some JDAMs are now equipped with laser seekers. The spice from the Raphael and Hammer is already in the Tejas Mark I and II. According to the study, the Hammer is eight times more expensive than the JDAM, which translates to US $210,707 per unit. 
According to a recent order from India, the cost of a saffron-built spice bomb kit is roughly $397,000 per kit. However, the JDAM, which was manufactured in the United States, is estimated to cost approximately $25,000, making it the most cost-effective option for Indian defense. In the comments area, let us know what you think of Teha's new weapons package. Please share and subscribe to our channel if you are new to it.